<laughs> What's up guys? Matt the Mechanic here. I am here with the X9000 yet again and we're going to install it back on my Suron and update it to the latest hex file. Hopefully the heating issues and all those other little issues will go away after this so stay tuned and find out if it's worth it. Just got to get the BAC wires out of here and the phase extensions off and we'll open up the box and install it. And just like that. <laughs> nah, just kidding. I just uploaded the latest hex file, 230406. Um, got everything loaded and let's see how it works. All right guys, I'm here with the famous Shreddy Mixtape, trying out the X9000 for the very first time. Here we go. Can I just do full throttle the whole time? So uh, you're on 13,000 watts and I think 550 uh, phase amps. Okay. So. Wait for this car. I'm just going to say full throttle. I'm going to say full throttle. Holy shit. You need all three brakes for that. <laughs> Rear, front, and your rear jack. It's nice to have that rear jack. You're crazy. Give me the whoopies. Give me the whoopies. Give me the whoopies. Give me the whoopies. Whoopies. You heard it, guys. It will give you the whoopies. Whoopie. Wow. What an awesome time uh, out there with Shreddy hitting up the new controller here in his first thoughts. Um, I am in the mechanic shed, and I'm going to do a little bit more throttle tuning on the x9000 controller here um i want to get a little bit more wattage out of the gate uh, i do like a fast bike from a stop um so i'm a little bit more street than dirt uh so i'm gonna do some more tuning on it and we're gonna go back out and rip this thing again I'm out here on the X9000, just having fun out here. So far, the motor has not gone uh, over temperature at all. My throttle is very responsive. No hiccups, no issue on the display. Um, I'm gonna be ripping it up and down these trails and see what kind of footage we can get. And uh, yeah, let's have fun. All right, guys, let's talk about the X9000 real quick and everything I went through and what the current status is of this day. So. As you all know, I made the first video. A lot of us had a, quite of a rocky start in the beginning. Problems with firmware, problems with uh, screens, um, issue after issue. Uh, so there's a lot of firmwares pushed out. Um, some of the firmwares had the VESC locked out, so people are no longer able to update their controllers through a third-party source. Um, that messed up a lot of things. Um, and they were forced to send out uh, send out cables to everybody and well you need a laptop now so that was the first little issue um, a little rocky start but the firmwares were still coming uh, EBMX was still responding to everybody's issues uh, they were pushing updates literally weekly if not daily so props to EBMX for this um, locking out VESC probably wasn't the smartest thing to do um, and 
sending out controllers that need to be updated and requiring people with laptops, probably another not so smart thing to do. Um, normally though, if you're buying a controller and with e-bikes and tinkering, you should have a laptop and you should expect a little bit of you know issues or, or problems going into it. So um, once we got everything updated, the new hex file has been a night and day difference for me. Uh, I had no problems with the screen, no problems with overheating. Uh, everything worked without touching anything right out of the box, uh, for me at least. So my biggest concern was the overheating. Um, I would go up and down the road maybe twice and my temperature would get up to like 160, 170, 180 and it was just climbing fast. So they changed a few things on the firmware, duty cycles, um, field weakening perimeters, stuff like that and it is a big difference. Um, there's a lot of responsiveness out of the controller. Um, there's a lot of low end torque compared to BAC if you don't tune it more. Um, the BAC is still a nice controller. This controller is, uh, I would say, the runner up. It comes with a screen, it comes with a thumb regen, it comes with now a programming cable, it comes with all the connections you need for both bikes. So props to you guys. Um, so I'm gonna go back to the BAC world um, and continue tuning on that platform because I own the controller. Uh, this one, I do not own it. It was sent to me for free um, to test and tune it. So hopefully my honesty goes a long ways and I can help everybody out in um, picking a controller or, or a company. Um, if you are in a BAC and want to go to the X9000, I would say it's, it's, a, it's a nice upgrade. Um, they're around like 1100 bucks right now, or depending on which dealer you get it from. And shipping's fast, uh, support is good. Um, the hardware quality is amazing. Um, and I couldn't really ask for anything better. So until next time, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Okay. Damn, my feet got stuck on your tanks. Sorry, bro. What's up? He can't get out of the box. And he puts pressure down there. His body weight's done. At this point, he's over.